McCoy, but we don't always have to look into those to, to see what we're going to see on the servers. So uh, it's going to be a tough one to call here heading into Nuke, especially because both of these teams played against really strong sides in their opening games. You know, you, you had 3D Max play against Falcons. Navi was the opening game from Movistar Koi, so hard to place them in terms of what level they're right. coming in at. It's not like really a fair comparison yeah. to judge off off of that, especially. Yeah, you're exactly right. You nailed that one. Well done. Thank you. 3D. <laughs> I don't know why I gave you such big props for. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I feel so good. <laughs> I pointed out some crazy Ooh, groundbreaking stuff. A decoy is on the map. Joko though sees everything, and he's going to back away as they take over ramp room. Yeah, Mac has already rotated down here. He's got the water. Melons in his hand. Cool. Magusta las grandes sandia. Mac uh, just waiting with his Julius whipping them around, slicing through just. Mopaz comes forward with that Glock. It's a big headshot and Davy G following up. <laughs> oh my god, the Julius are doing so much for the CTs currently. And Mopaz is just stuck chilling on the other side of the wall. It's a 1v2. It is doable because they're separated in 1v1 fights, but it's exercise that makes quick work of Mopaz. What was that sentence you just busted out? I believe it's I like big watermelons. Okay. And he has watermelons in his hands. You said it very confidently. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it is. It is It is that sentence. I just, yeah. Oh, I know. I just, I was surprised you knew that sentence. Thank you. It's that nice. doesn't seem like one of the initial sentences you'd learn in a foreign language. <laughs> I don't know why I know <laughs> that one. Um, but it works. It works. And I, I think I commented over a Portuguese player with Spanish, so we're not going to... And ever since then, you were like, I want to know how to say, yeah. I like your big watermelons. Yeah, I like big watermelons, not okay. your. Oh, sure. Uh, not yours, Jason. That changes everything. Tech Lucky's nice, though. Gonna dump a mag into the smoke. A lot of mags into the smoke. Not a whole lot of connections, though. The hit-to-miss ratio is off. Tech nines. Looking to burst through main. They've actually got a good chance here to overwhelm the defense, but 3D Max have stood pretty tall towards the back of the bomb site. And actually, they've slipped down the vent. That's an Ooh. important kill because that opens up a chance for a bomb plant. All that extra money. That is a Mopaz. plant. That's 100% a plant. Yeah, he's got the digits punched in. Here's that vent drop, but anything more than this from Mopaz is not realistic unless he finds a low HP player of exercise. Oh, there could be a weird timing here. He gets into the vent. MP9 available in the vent now for Mopaz. How many bullets in it? 14. So tap on the defuse. Smoke out towards double door. They're reading this possibility. He's not got the lineup. He's not got it on that defuser. Oh, so close. A little bit more to the left here. And he's not able to do it. Defuse all the way. It's not clean, but it's certainly effective. 3D Max coming through with their double. Nice recovery. Good job handling the pressure. One crossed over to Secret. They turned in towards Mini and almost made it work, but good job from 3D Max. So two to nothing, and with that bomb plant, some rifles gonna come out. So with the bomb plants, Mavi Star's like, let's just let's just keep it up. Yeah, let's just keep buying. Let's just uh, keep I was going. expecting maybe another Tech Nine round here because sure. you would have really good buy in the next round, but they sense they can relatively close, I guess, towards the end. So they're gonna go for it with Galil's on all five players. Not a lot of utility, though, but enough to do an outside execute if they want. I think they have a decent amount of utility. What they're missing is flashbangs is the, is the only real thing that, you know, three, four Molotovs, three, four smokes as well. It's the flashbangs that just take somebody off the angle to force an upper defender into an awkward situation that's going to matter most. Looking to set up a wall outside? Yeah, you got to wait till these two smokes pop before you feel comfortable cross into the opener, you just go before them and hope you can catch a player kind of staring into the sky, watching them as they fall. Almost had it, screwing with the timing of when they decide to cross, of, of when they plume those smokes, so that, that could have been very dangerous for the defense, either way. Down on B already. Haji with his M4. A bit of a jiggle. Just waiting. Haji's back. Is he back in a big way? Decides to drop down towards Decon after spotting the early information. Jocko's here with him. He's over towards Double Door. Hachi, they're still coming towards him. He fakes the run back into the side, but he stayed inside of Decon, and they seem to be ready for that. It's one for one on that initial fight. Yeah, nice trade, but now it's all on Maka, and he's got to know it. There's one more player downstairs, but this hold in ramp room is everything. Can't double him up. Again, good trades, and it's Adams with one important kill downstairs. I don't think these last two players can get involved in the action. I don't mm. think they have an avenue back into this. Yeah, it looks like they're locked out. So this Galil round seems to have paid off so far for the Movistar Riders as Kit has picked up on both of these players. Good utility. Go for an interesting spam here for exercise. I don't think I've seen that one attempted too often. I mean, I don't think that works, does it? <laughs> well, an M4A1S, you know? But... It looked cool. 
He was on target. Yeah, sure. It was like, maybe. Maybe they met, maybe foul <laughs> messed something up in the last update. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, it was, maybe it was a hole in the wall. Who knows? Worth a try, but that is the only attempt we will see in this round for 3D Max. Yeah, it's actually a shame, too, because 3D Max had a good read. They brought two players downstairs. They shifted one over. They just shifted Mako over to ramp room and, and brought Joko down low to actually help out with that defense that Haji was already in position for. And even with two players downstairs initially, they, they couldn't really get enough done. Some uh, kills at the end of the round. Takes some rifles away. Not as effective as they'd like, but does force Mopaz to go off with the bomb. First round on the board for the T side. Many people ask every time they see Mopaz play what that is on his desk. Some people wonder if it's a fan to keep his hand from getting sweaty. But in fact, it's actually a heater. There's a heater he keeps on the desk because of a it brings his own custom he heater. Yeah, he has like a condition. He has to have his hand warm while he plays. So he's got a heater ready to go. Right on standby. That's professionalism. That if is. I've ever seen it. Yep. You know, none of these little hand warmers, none of these, <laughs> you know, he just brings his own heater and sets it on the table. Hell yeah. Adam S sprinting towards outside, he's in behind red. And the smokes have popped nice and early for Movistar. And it, because they set the condition, the fact the president was there, that they sent multiple players behind it last oh, round, they timing. can send one player and go on to ramp instead. That's a timely drop down because he missed the timing on to have any any effort at stopping that, any resistance to this ramp take. So now just got to stick behind the smoke. but. Star is going to be happy to just uh, wait this one out. Let it fade away. And it actually looks like they want to crunch back into ramp room. Yeah, they look like they want to fight this from Movistar. And, you know, you're looking at, or rather, 3D Max. So Jocko's inside of the smoke. He now leaps up. Mopaz sets the timing on that smoke fade. So it drops behind that big box at the back of the ramp. And it's worked out pretty well for the T's here. But Lucky's still fighting, still standing. Oh, and 3D Max though. have a flank around the back exercise. Is still moving forward, but doesn't want to walk into a trap. Oh, I'm surprised he wasn't more aggressive considering there's a second player in lobby. I, that screws with the timing just a little bit, so they actually can get to the lower bomb site. Still a chance for it to come to fruition. All three players going to come from ramp room, though. And they're uncomfortable. You see, Davy G faked the plant for a second there, and now they're looking for a peek. But all this has done it has given more time for 3D Max to position themselves to be ready for a quick retake. So they have extra seconds to play with, and that first peek out has netted a bit of damage. Davy G is down to seven. Molotov is going to clear him out. That's surely a kill now. On to Davy G, and it is barbecue Davy G. And just on the rafters, has a good angle. It's a really strong position in post plants, but you have to hit shots. And when they go like that, you've got to feel rough if you're Movie Star Koi. That's the retake for 3D Max. Yeah, the, in 3D Max, I feel like he even gave them a lot of time to, to set up and get into safe positions with, with, how, with how long it took for them to peek on the flank. But just uh, nicely done, as you mentioned, missed shots. You, you clean up that kill quick on the first tap or two, and then all of a sudden you can transfer to a new target. Not a bad round, all things considered. You can see there, too, and, and yeah, there's an MP9, and yeah, there's a 5.7, but you don't often see ramp retakes like that from the CT side. Like, when the T's take control of that part of the map, it's like, okay, go to the lower bomb site, let them have this, because it's not, it's not fun. It's not a high percentage fight in any way, even with the utility. I remember years ago, in this very studio at a PGL RMR, or minor at the time, there was a, a French team with XMS and Hadji on it, and XMS had like one of the sickest overpass pistol aces I've ever seen in my life, and I'm sure many people will remember that at home. That's just a little throwback seeing Hadji back in the studio. It's been, it's been a while. Feeling nostalgic? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's always, you always feel nostalgic in CS. That's one of the greatest things. You got all the history. And maybe we'll recreate history in CS2 with 3D Max getting a sticker back in the game. Oh, yeah, that's pretty hyped up, isn't it? Yeah, I think the last time Alex was talking about this earlier, Machine was saying, you know, I think it was 2015, you were saying the last time that 3D Max had a sticker in the game. Now they've got a chance to go ahead and try and do it again. They'll begin their journey. And then Lucky starts off this round. A nice little kill through the smoke. Yeah, we take those. We take those all day long. Forced by, or half by, I should say again. There is a Galil on the field of play. Tech Nines as well. Ooh. Another good kill from Lucky through the smoke. <laughs> only to swing and realize there's three people looking at his position. So, <laughs> and the magazine wasn't fully in the gun yet. <laughs> it's, he's not the happiest in the world, but at least he knows where everyone is. Yeah, true. He's got all the information, but there's so much time to work with that Movistar Riders have created a lot of space. They can become elusive once again. And as we've seen on Nuke, like you can lose track of this like real quickly. Now, they do have one player watching for this wraparound from Davy G. Maka. Nope. So, 
attempt two. Deputy Jax actually is going to descend completely. And not want to fight heaven from that angle. Haji clearing T-roof. Getting information with every second that ticks on. 45 seconds remaining this round. So go down to go down secret to the lower bomb site and have Davy G just wait here and backstab towards ramp room when you're close by. That's kind of the idea that that Mavi Star is working with. So a simple idea, but in practice, will it go their way? Well, and with the push towards T roof, I feel like jo Joko should be fine. Although he's already descending to the lower bomb site, so there's no one really to backstab Ooh. in the ramp room anymore. 20 yeah. seconds. And a smoke out towards Decon, which allows Joker to focus completely on the double door swing and instant damage onto Stododo. And he's about to be dead as a Dodo. Oh, he's gone. He's out of there. Nine seconds left. Now we can't just leave Davy G alone. He's got to come and help. And that bomb plant trying to come through. Davy G with a big headshot. That's so important for their chances in this round. If they want any shot at picking this up, They've got to do it in a 2v2 post plan. And just as moving closer, focusing on the fight against Maka at the decontamination door. So suddenly it is all Davy G back in the ramp. And they have to know where he was last spotted. But it doesn't matter if he gets an instant kill just like that. And Haji taps the defuse, holding for a peek to the left side of the ramp. But Davy G is coming out to the right. And he knows that Haji's not sticking this. And every second that ticks on is favorable to that of Movistar because the time is running too thin. This round is expiring. And Davy G will take out Haji to give Movistar riders a massive round. Oh, not a nice clutch. But I'll tell you, that's the, I think that's kind of the scrappy nature of the game that you mentioned coming into this, that it was going to be towards this nature. That felt like 3D Max had, had that so well under control. Even with players getting lost outside, even with the play towards heaven, kind of hiding in hell as well. It felt like they had the, the right read of the situation and just couldn't put a stop to it. One for one on the lower bomb site and a nice round from Davy G. The fact that he gets that kill on a player who's going to try and just spam the smoke to stop the plan is so, so massive. Just thins him out before the retake begins and 3D Max on the back foot. The four spies that Mavi Star is coming out with are finally having their impact. XM 1014 inside of HUT can be really effective, especially in CS2. We've seen that weapon be purchased a lot more. So Haji feels comfortable maintaining HUT with that. We'll see Movistar Riders take their time, trickle through the utility set. But Joko in an early position at Secret could be pretty huge with that for Mass. Could be. Going to start getting an indication they're coming in his direction. Doesn't have the best range on it, so you can't really fight Silo. Would probably love a flashbang from a teammate if it's available. Uh, there's only there's one on one. Maka, and he's outside. Oh, here it comes, no, here baby. Is, here's that flash. He's been asking for it. It works on to Stadoto and Just, it, but it doesn't catch Adam S. But a team flash actually helps out. But Joker's not peeking up. Not yet, anyway. He's letting them come towards him, and for good reason, because that FAMAS doubles up just like that, and he's out of there. He's running away. He knows what he's just done. And this round has 38 seconds remaining, and it's actually 3D Max in a better position. And, and Mopas. Ooh, a little bit of damage oh. cleaned up by Exercise, and yeah, now the round's over. The round is done. Yeah, it is. Dodo is going to go for a shot down Secret. It's a good shot, but as you said, there's not much room to work with here, Moby Star. No one's downstairs just yet. Not yet, but Mac is here now. Drops into dark. 17 seconds. So you're going to have to commit one player to plant almost immediately. And because it's an AWP, you can't clear many other positions. So Maka can just deny this if he can get the bullets on target, which he can't. So the bomb plant does come in. Now it's about to shotgun on the rotate. And Stododo has everything ahead of him. Light shot first, P250 pull, but not in time. And that retake is in for 3D Max. So yeah, chaos in that lower bomb site, but the French are on top. And you know what? I'm going to run it back in. I said that round was done, and then they made they made a situation where they actually could have won out of it. So I'm going to hold back, because we know this game's going to get a little bit weird, a little bit scrappy. But again, it's like 3D Max had so many advantages, it didn't seem like there were ways out for Mavistar, and all of a sudden, there they are. I mean, if it was played cleanly, yeah, it definitely should I, have been. I'm so happy he decided to fall back here because he stutter-stepped on the stairs after that double kill. He's like, I really want the third. I really want to go for it. Yeah, but showed discipline, showed restraint. He passed the test. And that's important. 3D Max needed that one. 4-2. Tech 9s again. Feels like Movistar have had mostly Tech 9s on this T side. Yeah, they've been, they were engaged in that like force by war at the start. 
and it kind of got them on, and then just losing that last round really, really hurts. But I mean, they're, they're certainly playing for each and every round with these kinds of buys, aren't they? Have fun with a shotgun, though. Boom, boom, boom. Hatchy ready to go. It's just one, though. Exercise stepping down off the hut, stepping into his death, though. I don't know how he doesn't get that kill. Now the Deagle from Maka swings in from heaven and hasn't seen a commitment into the bomb site. There's so much time. Most of the riders stay composed. Uh -oh. They pump the brakes, but oh my goodness, this could get a bit messy. Lucky inside of the smoke. It might not be their lucky day. It's just one on the AK-47. 2v1 now as Mac is forced into the clutch alone, and he is over towards ramp, and he's got the right spot. That's the bomb as well. Oh, that's the bomb. Down, shot, connects, and there's no one around. Yeah, but he has no idea where the other player is. He's thinking he's thinking ramp room coming up from the lower bomb site because of how he was running towards ramp. So this all down to timing. Oh, is he gonna look the right way here? Maka does detect Davichi. Now he's got the lobby. Davichi has to fight, and somehow, despite being in a disadvantageous position, he's able to come out with a headshot in the clutch. Switch to the AK-47 as well. Wow. Might have wanted to have that AWP, but he was worried he wanted to be a little bit more mobile, swing his aim around a little bit further than you can with the AWP and be a little bit wieldier in different situations. And Mavi Star's force buys have finally broken the defense. It should just be USPs. A couple players might pick up some deagles, some upgraded pistols, but for the most part, going to be very weak weaponry for 3D Max. So far, that keyword scrappy is coming to fruition. Here's Haji getting only one. I thought I thought exercise was going to get a second kill. You know, when you drop off the hut like that, there is an element of surprise that maybe gives you a couple percent extra sure. chance of winning that first duel. But he he doesn't connect, and it's frustrating. There's here. an element of surprise and also an element of risk, right? And unfortunately, this time it was the risk that kind of came out of it. If he stays on top of the hut, you know, you have you have a great chance. That that dropping off the hut, I feel like, is like always like a it's like a movie play. Like <laughs> yeah, in your so head, you you're just you're the like, main character. Yeah, yeah. you're like the ah. Superman slammed down into the ground. It makes you feel like you're like Die Hard or something. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he did die hard. <laughs> it's definitely not the position you want to see. Oh, little coat. Please, please, time out. Please. He's desperately asking everybody. There we go. Finally, someone give the man a timeout. Just throw you back, Jason. You just wanted a timeout. Yeah, I, wanted a, I think it was a tech, actually. I think someone's oh, a tech some, issue? It oh, looked okay, like okay. someone, something broke, and he was trying to get the, the tech information out there as quick as possible. Real panicky, though. Yeah, T is... It's like, somebody, you know? somebody, please, anybody. My microphone doesn't work at this point. Please <laughs> call the tech. Hopefully, we can get that resolved as quickly as possible and return to the action. The A stream, I was going to say we're running two streams simultaneously, but at this point, that would be a lie because they are so far ahead. Their schedule had two 13 1 victories. I do hear the classic Henry G loudness in the other room, so something must be happening over there. So, if you're interested in watching that, it's currently FaZe versus Falcons over on the PGL A Street. How are we looking over there? Fourth overtime? Uh, you know, we're looking at a pretty dominant victory for FaZe. Currently okay. looking to be secured. Cool. As they'll be done with their day soon. Shortly. And A Stream is flying through their schedule. This is where the Counter-Strike, the competitive Counter-Strike really is here on the B Stream. All right, Haji. They do go for a force buy. Yeah. M4 Famas, shotgun, 5-7 on Lucky, can't handle business. Neither can that Famas, and neither can the M4. Um, so next round is going to be a save. Well, that was a force buy. Yep, that really, <laughs> that was a force buy. It did not really do much, unfortunately. Lucky was hoping he would at least get one kill or at least a chance to get a fight. And they just hard cleared him outside. Most of the riders came in composed, ready to go, ticked all the boxes. And now there's two players trying to save. Well, they're going to be detected by Mopaz, who actually does very well to nearly take two of them away. So an AK-47 picked up for exercise. You could send the Mac-10 in. You can send the Galil in even to try and get rid of that AK. Oh, they, they should hunt this down with, with everything they've got. Put the bomb I don't down. think they won't need much. Yeah, bomb being planted. That Mac-10 is, is moving into position. So is Adam S with his Galil. Yeah, there's nowhere exercise could have gone apart from T-spawn or hanging around T-roof. So they're just clearing that out. Eventually they know the exercise is around the corner. Now, it's kind of tough sometimes peeking into this, but the fact that there's a Mac-10 should just jump around every corner. They think he's deep, though. He might be able to get just one. 
Nice to know. No. Let's see what you got. Good flash, turns away, jumps on in, Mac 10. Rips apart and upgrades into an AK-47. And this game's all tied up, and it's a similar story for 3D Max against Falcons. They get a lot of rounds early. This was a bit more back and forth from the start, but they're starting to watch that fall through their fingers at this point because they went for the force buy. They've got no money. None. So this Mommy Stars should be now in the lead. Yeah, that force buy I think is, is really going to be a, a turning point in this half. Mavi Star is going to have a lot of advantages in terms of obviously economy, a chance to start stringing a ton of rounds together. And that force buy might have set them back a round or two. Utility towards the upper bomb site. Ooh. Great in game team here at the RMR is catching all of the action, giving us the best angles. Feels like I'm watching the Hunger Games. Got all the, all the camera angles. All the perfect views. Reference game, incredibly zoomer. Yeah, definitely. You watch the new Hunger Games, Jason? No. You partake in any Hunger Games? I think I watched the originals at some point. Yeah. You you make it, originals always sound like they were made in the 1970s. We were talking like 2013 or something. No pauses. You just wait through with that Tech Nine and these USPs. They're all gone. They're all gone. Surely at this point, nothing to be had. And Moisture Riders will keep a clean sheet with five players up. Five, four. T side looking good. And we talk about, oh, there's the new Zeus skin. I haven't seen that yet. You haven't seen the skin? Well, I've seen it like in, yeah, not around, in the game. but not in the game. How, how was your first time? I think it looks pretty sick, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I'd, like, uh, I'd like a few other options. Yeah. I think you had to have Zeus as the first. Zeus skin. It's a nice statement, isn't it? You know exactly what you're looking at. Something to do with electricity. <laughs> yes. Yes, there's definitely something to do with electricity there. And it's rechargeable. Let's see if Hadji's able to get it going. I mean, we've definitely seen the, the Zeus come into the pistol meta, thanks to Rops. The Katowice playoffs made quick work of that Zeus. And that's a nice little cleanup to Dodo, taking them away, and they all do keep a clean sheet. So Monster Riders now one round up, and 3D Max back to the money. And because of that force by in the previous round, they won't be able to have an op uh, in this round. I don't think we've seen an op yet on the CT side. They've been, I mean, it was such a, that's that's due to the pressure of the force buys from Mavistar on the T side. And obviously, maybe in my mind, an ill-advised force buy just previously for 3D Max that prevents that from coming out. So they're going to have to do it a little dirty first with the M4s and see if they can build up to that point. Um, no burst through squeaky early on because of the good utility from the CT side, but it do definitely looks like Movistar Riders have their eyes set upon this A bomb site, at least for now. So Maka gets in position close to squeaky. He's just looking to hear some footsteps, but they could go back to the ramp, and Jocko's got a shoulder peek for that. Movistar Riders have cancelled any early maneuver and reset outside. No pause. Gonna be tossing out the utility. Smoke should come in and remember they too, they've shown a couple different looks of the smoke wall and cross, right? Throwing the smoke wall, peeking before it pops. We'll see if they do it again. Lucky could be in some trouble if he tries. Yeah, they're kind of flirting with the idea, but now just gonna cross without it. Yeah, contact. It's they've been detected relatively early on, but it, fortunately for them, 3D Max are not in a position to stand and fight, and that is an ill-advised peak from Exercise. He didn't have the timing for it. He goes against him, and his teammate inside of the vent falls down. But remember, Jocko got down here pretty early on, one of the early rotators. He's on the ground. Let's yeah. see what he can find. And Justice just snapped that window open, and Jocko kicks him out of it. Oh, this is so dangerous. If Mopoz doesn't get this kill, they're in trouble, but that's a swing and a half. Nice move with a lurking towards Lobby. Cracks open the upper bomb site. And now it's all unlucky to oh. create an opportunity for his teammate, and he can't do it. Yep, does not live up to his name whatsoever. And Jocko is just strolling around the halls of the lower bomb site, eventually to come up through secret. Movistar Riders have got control of this game at this point. With a performance like this on the T side of Nuke, you've got to be feeling damn good. And it could get even better here oh, if they were to eradicate Jocko, but that's not to be the case to Mopaz. So Jocko will save his rifle, and we're looking at six to four. Yeah, you're right. This is this is a really good T side so far. They'll be they'll be very pleased with how this is going at the moment, looking to build upon it as well.
And and again, they've they've limited just the so much of the money that 3D Max can build up. There's still going to be no op. Yeah, they, we haven't really seen that at all, have we? There's two rounds left. We went out one to the last round of the half. And that could change the the story. They could change the tie for 3D well, Max. Well, especially if I mean, if you look at the way they're attacking outside, right? Like that's a dry cross to secret with no utility, no smokes, just yeah. walk until you're spotted and then sprint. We've seen them peak before the smokes plume and op outside could actually change a lot of the ways that, that Mavistar is attacking that part of the map. Great to see Mavistar going to a different color than black and red for an esports jersey. Don't see that too much these days. No, it feels personal for 3D Max. With their black and red jersey. <laughs> Looks like you, you really hate them. You know, <laughs> they blend into the chair too much, man. Okay, that's and, what it is. Yeah, they yeah. just look like floating heads it's of like arms. It's like camouflage, really. And, and uh, even complexity, man. The blue. <laughs> They've moved away from blue. They went to black as well. Come on. Let's get some originality in here. Like into the breach. No one does that color, Steve. It's like purple and, and red. It, well, there's probably a reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> Yeah, that now that's personal. All right, <laughs> let's see, let's see. Back into the act. At this point, 3D Max not looking too hot, and it might get pretty bad for them on ramp. It's an interesting angle here for Jocko. There's no falling back, so you better frag out. It's hard to double up in this angle. Well, Jocko, yep, does not double up. Nearly does, but Thank not God. enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would have been real bad. Caster Curse almost going in to full effect, but without the rifle getting more than one, you really now have nowhere to go if you're 3D Max. You're locked out by all the utility that Mobistar has. Yeah, tough place to be. Bomb Planner is very low on health, though, so he's being a little bit shy about starting to stick that Bomb Plant. Good kill from Lucky. Oh, these 5.7s are doing work, and look at the way Dabby G is just backing away from the site. They have no more nades left when these smokes clear. Yeah, they used up all that utility, and now no Bomb Plant. Oh, it's rough, because Dabby G's pinned back in dark corners, so he can't leave that too comfortably. He has to cross in front of Decon and Double Door, and he's so low that one bullet from the pistols or Scout immediately take him out, so... You really got to rely on the workhorses of Stododo and Just to try and get you into a better position here and try and get that bomb down, but there's not a lot of time to do it. The Stododo has moved into position to fight out control room. Nate goes and forces Lucky back down the stairway. Just used the flash to try and allow Davy G to get across to the site and close those doors, but there's a gaping hole in the door, and that's going to allow a kill for Exercise to come in. Ten seconds, not enough time to feel comfortable to get that bomb down whatsoever. They kill for elimination, they do not get it done, and oh, just swinging back and forth, gets it into a 1v1 fight, but Mac is so far away. He gets into the vent, just goes wildly swinging. He'll get every single kill, but no round win. That was chaos, and it was nearly beautiful. Just completely, completely stalled out Mavistar by five sevens. No one wanted to be the aggressor until it was too late. They were made so nervous, and this dink on Davy G has all the impact in the world. If he's got full HP, he's planting that bomb where the smokes are. He's just risking that, that no one's going to be able to take him down completely. But he's just so nervous about a random five seven spam. All right, that's last a, round of the first half. That's a big round to pick up. It keeps 3D Max competitive in this half, and now they can leave it tied up potentially, especially with that opening kill. That's going to take one step closer to the reality of 6-6. Six to six. Cool piece of aggression as well. And now we have the op out that's going to cover this lobby push. There's no one in lobby, so they'll be like, hey, it's clear, everyone's outside. Yeah, I've got all the information. Adjust accordingly here if you're 3D Max. Mr. Riders have already got Mopaz down lower. He's just making his way around Decon, checking out the B bomb site. Potential property there to purchase up, but it's all about the A site for now. An exercise is cut through just. Needs to be careful of that vent player. And Mopaz is wild. He loves a little vent climb up the ladder into the fight. He keeps going. Mopaz with his second in the round has drawn this back into an equilibrium of players. 3v3, bomb down now into a retake. Feels like 3D Max just completely forgot that Mini exists as a point of attack. Everyone rotated to lower, and maybe it was due to some di distraction from Mopaz, but it's put him in a real tough place for this retake. Double flash it's for the post plan. That's all the Mopaz really have to play with. They got the grenade too, and the kills certainly are going to go a long way in securing a seven. 3D Max have to throw everything they have at this one. 
It's the last round of the first half. Macau goes for the shot, but now he is certainly dead. Seven to five. Movistar Riders Koi lead the way. And it's a big performance from the top three players of Mopaz, Justin, Davy G. And look at the way that half ended. Well, five of the last six going in the way of Movistar. They really bounced back, got a hold of that T side, and just ran away with it. Well done from them as we switch sides. We'll see Mavi Star on the defending end of Nuke and 3D Max with a bit of a recovery situation to try and get back into this game. This is the 0-1 matchup still for the RMR. So the team losing goes down to 0-2 and then faces elimination in the best of threes. And we just seen NIP head down into the 0-2 just moments ago. So we know there's some big enough names down there. In the best of threes, you don't want to find yourself there on day one whatsoever. It's quite forgiving in terms of the fact that it's best of three to progress, best of three to be eliminated. But the best of ones can be so scary. They can really mess your run up. Yeah, they can. They can, they can throw things off kilter easily. Uh, as we see in pretty much every single RMR, there's, there's some heartbreak to be found in the best of ones. Yeah, but where there's heartbreak, there is dreams being made as well. And that's oh, the excitement. That's poetic as hell. Yeah, it's Valentine's Day, Jason. So, you know, have to be a little romantic. Oh. Did you forget? Uh, what time is no. it in the US, Jason? <laughs> what time is it in the US? You still just, got some time. I just, you know, have a call to make. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe last second, uh, flower yeah. delivery, something like that. Just a reminder for anybody home as well, in case you forget. You've got some hours to make some extravagant statement. I personally went with Lego flowers, so. You know, Lego flowers. I, I had put the bar, bar pretty low. So anybody <laughs> else, you know, it looks good. As long as it works. Adam S outside of Mini gets absolutely dumped. So many players jump around that corner. At least this information he can call to his teammates, but he wasn't able to handle it too well. Oh, P2K, give me one. Not there. One's jumped into the control window. He's now stuck. These pistols better find a way to work together or else they're all going to get overrun. Easy kill. Back turned and now control doors close. Stadodo opens up that single door. Oh, it's not clean. It's not pretty. And the door is now closed in his face again. Probably for the best. They're stalling out this plant, though. They're challenging from both of the doors and 3D Max is starting to lose players. Yeah, 40 seconds still remaining in this round for 3D Max to stay composed, but they got to win some fights here on that shadow. Betray's exercise gives the Dodo an extra second to react, and that is the difference that will cost him his life. And shadows may betray Haji, yet he swings his Jocko and Haji together. A double when they go aggressive and just will descend down into the vent. He's worried about the fact that they might actually last second decide to run up the ladder into the A bomb site. <laughs> I think they're going to. Oh my goodness, if he makes the right call. Oh, they're going all the way around. Okay, okay they're going to decon. <laughs> I was like, that could be, that would just be absolutely wild. They've, I like this, they've aggressively cleared out behind the vents. They just attacked into it because there was so much harassing going on. They'd finally had enough. A chance for a 1v2 they're for They're giving just. him 1v1s. They're giving him 1v1 fights. He needed to get that kill immediately, though, if he was to take advantage of it and then pull back into the site, which does allow Haji to get a headshot in the pistol. Haji definitely had a big reaction earlier today versus Falcons when he won a clutch oh, yeah, in the, the pistol. Oh, yeah, the clutch in the lower bomb site? Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, he's like, um, I thought he got, like, some sick A's. I, I was know. watching the other stream. I was, I saw, like, well, I just on, saw the celebration. The I was excited for the replay. It's like just two Glock headshots. Yep. Good pistol run, though. Yeah, it definitely was. Stark, stark contrast to, to I think, like the, uh, what, the first half when they were being harassed by five sevens and didn't want to get aggressive. And this time they were like, no, 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 no. Let's not do this again. Let's get aggressive. Let's not find ourselves in that position. And forced by from Officer Ryder the second round here. So, you know, it can work out for the CT side or it can slap you up the face in that first few rounds of play. And Stadodo getting off of that generator and climbing back up the ladder to heaven. But once he repeats, Jocko is waiting around the corner. Not only that, but utility, the barding heaven and plenty of T's now wrap around hell. Well, they haven't masked this whatsoever. They haven't, they've, they've been happy to telegraph that they're coming. A lot of noise, a lot of attention. Again, the MAC-10 falls off, but Lucky's found a kill out towards ramp room. Now smoked off, and I don't think they can go through that. That, that means go find somewhere else, and it leaves Davy G isolated and alone in hell in the lower bomb site, wide open. Oh, Haji. Yeah, this is going to be so frustrating for Mopars. But why is he holding this? But Mopars doesn't die. Well, now you have an AK-47 in no man's land, and if you're Mavi Star, your your goal shifts. Let's get this AK-47. Yeah, like everybody, all.
resources on deck. Get rid of him. And it's successful, but they don't recover it. They don't go for it. I think they're letting the, the pistol go go try. Yeah, Sam Mopal's out there. Yeah, good luck. Anybody up for a task that oh. is highly dangerous and requires a lot of aggression, Mopal signs up immediately. He's going to just dive on down, grabs that AK, and now the difficult part is holding on to it. Oh my god, nice not shot. Not that difficult. Yeah, apparently not for he, Mopaz. He deathmatches Nuke. <laughs> He's got some flick on him. Without the uh, AK being saved over, it's not as pretty here from obviously Riders. And <laughs> Mopaz is being chased and jumped around, and <laughs> Jocko even dies. All right, well, they keep the AK-47 out of 3D Max hands, at the very least. Yeah, and the Movistar Riders, hand, or, or rather, Koi's hands as well. No longer Riders. So the Force Buy for the CTs does not pay off. And because they only saved two players, it doesn't look good either. So you can't really drop anything and get a really good buyout again here. And you can execute kind of a cool lobby crunch if, you, if you're just trying to get like an easy idea to maybe get the round over. But you got two MP9s that can wreak some havoc if they get in the right situation. Gotta be the right conditions for the MP9s. But maybe this is one of them down inside of the vent. But it would be a good call to challenge down ramp if there's no lobby crunch sign here for 3D Max. And they're gonna go and split ramp room because they got Jock all the way at hell already. He's spotting up plenty of players. And now they're cutting through the ramp setup. They should be ready to text the Dodo. There's a team kill and all the chaos uh -oh. as well. Oh my goodness, the Dodo's finally taken out. It was chaotic. But 3D Max should have some room to breathe for the next few seconds, but Justice rotated down to Decon Door. Does he make a wild play? Yes. Yes, he does. And not enough time to get that bomb plant denied. And Exercise is now in a 1v2. Gonna drop some utility into the smoke. It's a crazy round. That's a sick double door smoke and thrown out by Exercise. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter because Mopaz doesn't respect it. That was actually so cool. That, <laughs> he probably I, could is do that, that intentional? I, he, he probably could do that twice if he tried. Uh, like, I, I, there's a part of me that like wants to agree that, okay, sure, that was a, that was intentional. He's a genius. Who was at the decon door? Which one was that, though? That was Just. That was Just. He yeah. did a really good job of just opening and closing. It's so simple, but just opening and closing and just keeping track of where Exercise was playing in the 1v2. So always had inf in information of his of where he was moving and relatively safe to set that up nicely eight to seven and the op is out early on stadodo stadodo didn't get to see a whole lot of ct oping from 3d max now we get it pretty early on for stadodo let's see if it makes a big difference if it starts to take over the server the tech nines towards the ramp room we go yeah it's all about ramp pressure and Davy G. Will he position himself accordingly? Good and, utility. And do you go through that smoke if you're 3D Max? That op's got a deep angle outside, so Sedona's calling out that there's nothing. No nades, no one even jiggle peeking. Smoke and flash cocked, ready to go. Davy G sees the utility, sees his chance to drop down, break open the window, and force him to think about going towards hell instead. No one's dropped just yet for 3D Max, but now they do it. Now they commit. And is Davy G going to step up? Is he going to deliver the necessary kills? No. Taken out by the Tech 9 that now unleashes its wrath upon this B bomb site. And man, this smoke forcing the door to open the wrong way is so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen it yeah, in the playoffs in really Katowice for Madden. Apart inside. It really is. Like, Madden did it in Katowice playoffs, and it cost him a chance to get a kill. And now it happened again. From Opos. Oh, this is, this is, I can't believe they, oh, whoa, 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 oh! you crazy with that AWP. One's in vents, he's gone down, you're gonna lose the AWP as well. This round has been horribly played by Mavi Star. Yeah, I don't even really know what to say about that. Um, Stadoto jumping around the corner with the AWP, getting into a dangerous position, and these Tech Nines just thrash the B bomb site defense. And they're chasing after Mopos. Oh, taken out by Maka. And Adam S is just wondering what the hell has happened to his team. I think David G definitely should have got at least one, two on that lower nice. bomb site. Um, yeah, at least it's, one. It's a hard angle when you miss that, and especially against Tech Nines moving that quick. I think I think the real mistake was not the miss shot. It's more just the the positioning on that that ramp. That that ramp spot can be really effective, but it almost feels like you need a second teammate to be down there with you to to really maximize its potential. Otherwise, it's like. You know, he broke open the control windows as a little bit of a fake, but it's also like, why don't you just go there? 
Yeah. <laughs> why, why didn't you actually just head there? Questions to be. You know, answered. you have you have safety. You have some range with the M4 against the Tech Nines. You can pick one off and fall into cover and wait for your teammates. You can harass as they try and plant. And and yeah, I think just the positioning more than anything was was the mistake there. Yeah. Eight to eight, and Mavi Star really still haven't gotten a grip of this CT side just yet. No, not yet, but they still have the AWP out for Sedono. It's still available for the CTs. Uh, third timeout used for 3D Max in regulation, so their choices to call timeouts have now run out in regulation, at least. If we go to overtime, which they get one extra. right now seems pretty realistic, to be honest, given how back and forth this game has become. Another OT. Why not? All the bonus rounds here in the B stream. That's what it stands for. <laughs> B for bonus. B for bonus. I think it's secondary stream, Dinko. Um, yeah, well, it just says B casters on this box right here. So. <laughs> That's fair. I'll take the L. Now I feel like this is personal. <laughs> Secondary stream, B casters. I get it, guys. And out of SL from heaven. Range to that M4, not enough damage done. And it is going to allow the bomb to go down secret with those smokes. So early positioning is good here for 3D Max, but Mopaz has already rotated down. 3D Max is taken outside so fast and so aggressive and assertively, like so many different rounds. They've done it again already in secret, already challenging the off. Ooh, the flick over's not there. Why is he? Oh, he faked it. He he's, faked it and ran he, back. He's crazy. so genius. Oh, he is a mad genius. He's got himself a headshot on that second play, but not enough damage to bring him down. If Mopaz got a double out of that, that would have been a nasty little play. Yeah, but I'm, 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 it's interesting seeing them not press the issue to that lower bomb site. So, I, you know, you've bought time for players to shift in a little bit deeper, so there's still going to be a resistance, which makes me feel like at the moment 3D Max is, is investigating the idea of, of heading elsewhere, of finishing elsewhere than this lower site. Oh, Maka taking damage, smoke blown open by the grenade. And that allows the kill for Davy G. Had a moment in time where his opponent was visible, not shrouded in the cover of the smoke. Now 4v3 now established. Make it 4v2 with that kill from Stadoto out from heaven. 24 seconds. Nowhere to go. Yeah, I think I think actually not pressing the issue when you get that kill on Mopaz is was really rough for 3D Max. Stalled out where they wanted to go. You're trying to keep some attention lower with the utility, with the smoke, with the Molotov uh, towards ramp. You don't really have the pieces to really execute that properly to crack you into the upper bomb site, and it just it just kind of phases away, faded away, phases. Phases away also works. Does it? Yeah, you can phase the smoke. And you sit in the smoking, sure. Phase it is the term we're using these days. I'll take it. And you know what? Falcons are being phased out, it would seem, as well over on that A stream. So oh, that's a shame. Phase looking good. I mean, there's clear favors coming into the RMRs, but there's also a lot of teams that we don't know how good they're going to be. And I think there's going to be some brutal I think, heartbreak. I think it works in both directions, too. I feel like there are some good teams that are that probably seem better than they actually are. Yeah. And I think there's... Well, a team like G2, for example. <laughs> yeah, you could put them in there. That, that we'll see if they can actually rise to it. I'd put Falcons in there as well, just based off how well they did at Katowice. Yeah. You yeah. could have like a little overestimation of where they're at as, as well. a team. Yeah, Ants, we still don't know what they are. Well, they have Spirit in the opening game, so they're about to get dawned. And they're just as good as we think. <laughs> Yeah, they're definitely probably even better than we think. Out of mess. Good kill, though. That's exercise. He's out of there, and that's a full 5v4 established thanks to the CT side's opening pick. And oh, what? What did Maka see? What did he see? It's got to look different on his screen compared to that right IP look, perhaps going against them. Let's just be happy they're not invisible anymore at yeah, that angle. Yeah, true. That is true. He saw something. Yeah. We can be happy about that. There was a moment in time the night before it was the night before the IAM Katowice playoffs. <laughs> uh, before we, and there was, a, there was a little gap that you could get from heaven, and it would open up an invisible wall in secret. And you, oh, could, that's right. you could see players running down secret. Shot. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. It was just absolutely crazy. And it, it, it fortunately was patched very quickly, but. That's why I'm so glad I'm not a developer. Yeah, they, it's like they probably changed. We'll something, fix this one thing. Uh, probably changed something, something with the sound, and then like the wall disappeared. Yeah, now you can actually like <laughs> walk out of the map on Anubis as well. So a cool. couple, couple of things. They'll be fixed very soon. The, the fixes have been coming in hot and heavy. I think they should bring back pigeon riding. Oh, that was my favorite. That was absolutely my favorite thing about Counter Strike. The fact you can jump on the pigeon on Ivy on the Ooh. train, and now jumping on this chance to take over the A bomb site is Maka. Good shot on Mopaz. Now just at the back of the bomb site. Not always the easiest position, but if he isolates these fights, he can break them down. Nine seconds. That's the bomb. No chance now for a 3D Max. Ten rounds from Movistar Koi. 
And they are now looking primed and ready to take over the server here and close out this game to go one and one. That was a nice shot for Maka, but just, uh, I mean, just one upped by just inside the site. Nice headshot. Good job anchoring things down. And a slow paced round falls out of the grasp of 3D Max. Yeah, he did. He saw a little bit more than I would have expected, actually. Yeah, it definitely didn't look like that from Stedona's <laughs> POV. No, it did not. Are you still happy? Still happy getting up out of his seat? Coach is checking his it's heart rate. He's like, am I alive? <laughs> it's all good. Surviving the heart attack. And now just $2,000 in the bank across the board. It's a upgraded Deagle. That's the only weapon purchased in this round for 3D Max. 11 rounds almost guaranteed at this point for Movistar Riders. Or Koi. Rather Koi, yes. That's a cool Deagle skin. The Prince Stream. I like that. Yeah. Got a little Prince Stream combo myself. Little M4A1. Ooh, woo. And the Deag. I like that. Nice. Oh, those are the kills that piss you off if you're Sudoto. You're like, really? Yeah. That's the one that lands. Bang. Now Mopaz, he senses a timing to get through that squeaky door. It either works out perfectly or it's death to Mopaz. He closes the door after one, so it doesn't allow them to chase after him. Uh, they, they might make the decision to attack him at mini. They know that Dink is there. Yeah, oh. he's actually going out in the open as well. Look how low he is. That's so risky. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Mopaz is absolutely crazy. He switches to the AWP instead. Comes back, doesn't hit the shot. Now hoping that Adam S protects him. I don't know how Mopaz is still alive. Oh, my God, he still gets a kill. Lots of damage being done outside. Lucky now detected walking into me, so just gets his rifle ready. It is 11. And this is why I always start these rounds by saying almost guaranteed or surely or close okay. to, to happening. You had your bets. Because Counter-Strike is crazy. <laughs> I felt like there was going to be something more profound there at the end, but nope, just Counter-Strike is crazy. Yeah, especially today. Especially today. 11 to 8. Well, this is it, really, for 3D Max, isn't it? They lose this round. Their legs are swept underneath them. At least at least need a plant to make that, that next buy a little dangerous, right? Yeah. Get that extra money Get in there. Get some extra cash. Ooh, but I like the aggression. I like the aggression. Op hasn't seen anything. Adam S hears footsteps, hears jumping. I don't think he realized one's crossed. No, but even if he does, he wants this kill. He's going back to have a look at it. Mopaz has already rotated down, so they've got that base covered if there is a player who's gone down secret. And that's now not a problem anymore. Interesting peek from just <laughs> grenade in hand as well. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of that today. Punished, as it should be. Well, now the op's going to slide outside. I mean, despite all this, Mavistar really doesn't have a good read of what's happening. They did clear out secret, they did clear out outside, but it's been plenty of time since they last saw those positions. They'll realize secret is clear, but... Not aware of the danger Haji and Yoko present. And this has got to be a mini wrap to join up with Lucky, right? That's the only thing that really feels like it could have success. Or a main wrap. There's the that translation. Aid. And yeah, a grenade does land at the toes of Lucky. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. And Mopaz once again. It's like he gets bored. Yeah, he, d he doesn't stand still. Yeah, he always has to have something, constant stimulation. Now, if it works out for him, because he gets around the backside. Now, Adam S peeks out for CT Vent. They're distracted. They're looking towards Mopaz's his last known position. And that sets up a free kill, which puts Haji in a 1v3 with limited time. 15 seconds left. At least he has the bomb on his back, but. Go for the plant. Getting the plant here is the biggest key to the round. And I don't even think he's going to be allowed that. Peak from heaven, peak from hut. Denial of everything, and you mentioned getting a bomb plant, what it can do for a good buy, and they don't get it. So now 3k average. All right, well, let's see what they can bring to bear in this battle. This potentially last round of the map. It was scrappy. It was back and forth a little bit at different stages, but once Mavistar clicked into the CT side, it's it's been it's been pretty, pretty solid for them. A few hiccups, but overall, coasting to a victory at this point. Four chances to close out Nuke. And it's not a pretty buy. Two MAC-10s, Tech-9, Scout, and Galil. Grenade blows open that secret crossbow, but not enough for Stododo. 
Risky peek. Stays alive, goes in the credit card, but is mollied out. And look at this. Exercise pushing. Doesn't have the weapon for it, but Mopaz is certainly going to hold down the fort on the A bomb site. Double kill on Jocko and Haji. They can't get into main. They can't push the issue onto this A bomb site. And Movistar Riders now in pole position to close out this series. Lucky's at the vent. Oh, it doesn't work for him. Just runs over the top and rips his head off. Ooh, and now Davy G hears everything. Tap it away, knows there's one beneath him. It's a scout, it's unwieldy, he's found that. And this is the final gasp. Tech 9 in hand won't do the trick. Movistar's gonna take Nuke 13 to 8. And they move on to the one and one games. Yeah, and cheers of Vamos run around. Here's how the Movistar Koi camp. They're very happy with the performance there towards the end. That CT half was dominant. Scrappy start, strong finish.